Well, hello, hello, hello. We are Chief Ashes. I'm Chris. I'm Drew. And we're coming to you today from Fibber McGee's in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, southeast corner, Dobson and Elliott, right next to my bar where I work, the Yard Cigar Bar. Um, great little Irish pub. Absolutely. Uh, they are a Tottenham Hotspurs uh, EPL bar. So I have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. When Tottenham plays early on Saturday or Sunday, they open up early, so the Tottenham club guys can come in, guys and gals can come in sure. and watch soccer. Yeah. So um, we are doing our. Typical cigar. Yeah. True. So, so this week we're doing uh, the Jaime Garcia uh, Reserva Especial. That is a classic. It's on that kind of medium plus to full side. Uh, it's got that nice rich Oscuro wrapper. Uh, just great flavor, a little bit of spice. Best part is seven to nine bucks all Dude, day. Not even seven size. to nine. It's like, yeah. It's, if, on you, average. if you're going to pay eight bucks for a Robusto, you're paying too much. Yeah, so this is in that $7 range for the Robusto. They do have a Super Gordo, big, like, 66 six ring gauge. 910. Uh, yeah. 910, 920, 930, somewhere around in there. You're Tops. under 10 bucks. Yeah, tops. Either one of the two, you're under 10 bucks. It is, uh, obviously, my father's cigars. Yeah, and uh, Jaime uh, is actually Don Pepin's son. He's the one that started the My Father's Cigar Company um, in honor of his father. Um, and it is just blown up. So, I mean, you can find them pretty much anywhere. I mean, I go any shop, if they don't have my father, turn around and walk out. Cause, I, I wouldn't stay there because, yeah, I mean, don't know. I, you know, you look at my father's cigars and they make cigars for obviously their own brands, but they are making cigars for how many other people? Well, and I mean, you know, last week we talked about uh, Creo and and Creo's making cigars for uh, Crown Heads. Well, my father also makes uh, cigars for Crown Heads. They make it for Ashen. I mean, there's Tatuaje. Tatuaje is is a, the primary one. I was actually the first I mean, cigar in the United States that was released by Don Pepin. Uh, was a Tatuaje cigar before his Blue Label came out. So right, he, it's it, you know Pete's been doing some good things with uh, with Pepin for a long well, I'm pretty, time. It, isn't Pete his son-in-law now? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Him and Jack might as well I mean, be. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, um, great cigar brand, great yeah. cigars, um, and to find it at this price point from a master blender yeah. with this kind of flavor. Uh, this kind of profile to the cigar is yeah. unheard of. I, I was shocked when I walked in the humidor and saw them for like 760 a stick. Yeah. It, it was, it, I, I expect them to be more expensive than they are. They're not. Yeah, quality yeah. wise, these things are a 10 to $12 cigar all day for seven to eight bucks. Can't oh, beat it. You, I mean, you can't beat it. Delicious. Now, what are we drinking today? We are drinking the Lagunitas. Um, hazy. Wonder. Hazy wonder. Hazy wonder. You had to wonder there for a second. I had to wonder there for a second. I don't want to wonder. But Lagadine's hazy wonder. Uh, the good people here at Fibber McGee's have hooked us up with these cool little glasses that the Lagadine's rep, my buddy, Ben Vandermeer, dropped off for them. I asked. Uh, the staff here, if they would clean these glasses for us, and my food just got dropped off, so I'm gonna eat when we're done. And these are cool glasses. Um, this beer is super clean for a hazy. I mean, what is it like five, six percent? Somewhere in there, you know what? If, if it's up, right about there, yeah, um, not too heavy. A great, great summer beer. Yeah, that's, especially for uh, for those of us in the southwest, sitting by the pool, drink like five or six of these. Exactly. Relax, enjoy, yeah. cool down. Just you know. cool down with it. Um, this, uh, here at Fibbers, this is one of their beer of the month with their the Lagunitas IPA. So Lagunitas, Petaluma, California, Chicago, Illinois. They... Um, we're one of the first to really put 
an IPA in the stream, mainstream market. Yeah, for um, sure. You can literally find it anywhere you go. Every airport, every uh, oh my venue, gosh! I was, at, yeah. I was at the Oakland airport during COVID. I was flying, and I kid you not, I paid fifteen dollars for a Lagunitas bottle of their IPA, just because no bars were open. This little shop in the airport. I'm like, I want a beer so bad, and there was about five or six different IPAs. I grabbed a Lagunitas yeah. because it's a staple in the market. It really is. It just, it, it's, everything that they do seems to be tasty, good, and just works. Well, this beer, fantastic. Absolutely. This is the first time I've had it. Yeah, and the best part about the Lagunitas, too, you go buy a 12-pack at the grocery store or at the liquor store, it's 12 bucks. So you're literally paying a dollar a can. You can just relax, sit on your patio, sit in your living room, do whatever you're doing, wherever you're smoking your favorite even, cigar. Even you know. at 15. Yeah. And sometimes you know, you'll find them for 15. You can buy the, the bigger case is a little bit more expensive. But but know. at the same time, if you're buying beer at $2 or less a beer for craft beer, you're scorned. Yeah, absolutely. You're scorned. Yeah. And if you're buying a craft beer out at a bar, enjoying the night at Five bucks and under. Five bucks, really? Are you kidding me? Yeah. You, it, it, you have hit the jackpot because it's just one of those things where everybody is trying to, you know, take advantage of the market right now when you're talking about craft beer. I walked into a place today, and I'm not going to name names, but most of the beers were seven dollars or more for a craft beer it's insane and and i'm thinking to myself okay i'm gonna have a beer i'm gonna have one i paid it was 675 happy hour dropped it down to a 475 so they it was like 542 after tax left two dollar tip you know 750. okay that's reasonable but if you're there after happy hour, you're paying almost nine bucks for a friggin' beer. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not okay with that. Yeah, I'd rather really just uh, buy some package, go home, relax for a little while on the patio, be able to smoke my cigar. That's the problem, too, with a lot of the, the bars. That's why we like this place here. You can smoke on the patio. Patio smoke friendly. Especially in Arizona, we got misters. It's, it's you know, a little louder out here, but it's Yeah, we got chill, people so. out here on the patio with us. You know, no worries. I, it, it's Tottenham Hotspur, and it's also a Seattle... Oh, Seattle Seahawks bar. No, I never not a fan, but the squeezes are super, okay, super you know. busy on Sundays when yeah. Seattle's playing. Um, it's a uh, it's a cool place. Yeah. I have been coming here for about five six years now. Uh, yeah, same as me. They yeah. got hit pretty hard with COVID. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're in the area, stop by. They, I've got my fish, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. I got. Fish and chips, right here. Fantastic fish and chips. Oh, great food. They One of the great, best places for fish and chips. Period. Period. Yeah. Hands down. Great food. Great service. Friendly people. Live music Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. They do trivia. I think on Monday nights, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's a fun bar to come hang out. It's it's, it's super your, chill though. It, it's yeah. super, super chill. chill. Traditional. You got your dark woods. They've got their plethora of Irish whiskeys, obviously. Great craft beers. Um, so, I mean. Bushmills 21 in there. Uh, I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, we won't be reviewing that on our channel because it's 40 bucks a shot. Yeah. But at the same time, if that's something you are looking for, uh, you know, this is the place to come for it. Um, again, Fantastic yeah. place, fantastic people. 
Um, and the best part is, you're literally, what, 100 feet away from the Yard Cigar Bar. So you can walk over there and have a cigar after you or have dinner and drink. Grab your cigar, come back here, sit on the patio, yeah. and enjoy yourself, exactly. relax, have some good uh, Irish drinks and uh, Irish food. Irish so, food. So, uh, what do you right, think? Final, final call on the hot mate. Honestly, I haven't had one of these in probably five years. Yeah. And we probably we smoked a little together the last time you had one. I, I, I think sure. we did. Yeah. Think early, yeah. yeah. So. I. Price point, quality, you know, everything you need to know is who makes this. Yeah. It is solid, everyday cigar. I smoke probably at least one a day. If not every other day, just depends on the week, what I'm doing. But I can pick this thing up first thing in the morning. I like strong cigars in the morning, but it's definitely nice and full. It's not going to overpower you though right. in the morning. Flavor is delicious. So. I, I've had some cigars that in the morning I've, I've smoked them like, whoa, probably right. not a good idea. I think this, this one. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. Period. And we say that a lot, but gosh dang it, guys, it's one of those cigars that under eight bucks are you kidding me all day come on all day yeah. um lagunitas yeah i'm digging it definitely for the first this is honestly my first time drinking it yeah me too um i like it a lot and at five dollars a pint are you kidding me i mean it's hard to say no to that so yeah. um again i know we keep like doing positive reviews on stuff but to this yeah, point we yeah, haven't yeah. had anything that we've been really down on right um we I'm haven't had the opportunity to actually experience something for and review it for you guys that will be coming soon uh, i'm sure that's gonna happen very soon and with the name change <laughs> and just kind of the restructure you're gonna see a lot more uh from us and we might have a great cigar and a bad beer or a bad, bad alcohol bad cigar and a great, great beer. beer so or here we go. A great whiskey and a shitty stick. I yeah. mean, it happens. Yeah. Um, and that's why we're doing this. We want to bring you an honest, open review of what we're doing. But for tonight... I mean, to be honest, we're just a couple of cheap ashes. We're cheap so ashes. Here we are. <laughs> but guess what? Uh, remember to uh, like, like subscribe, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram and um, coming soon. We're going to do some quick, short TikTok videos for you guys, and hopefully you like them. Yeah, it, 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 he's not a fan of TikTok. I'm making him do it. I promise we're going to do some shit on there. Well, we're doing it for you guys. We're so. doing it for you. It's going to be fun. It's going to be quirky. It's going to be outtake-ish kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, you get to see behind the scenes. We have a lot of uh, outtake reels that we're just going to throw <laughs> up there, too. It's going to be great. So just remember to keep following us. Uh, get leave us comments. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, any uh, you know advice as far as like what we should review each week. Start throwing up some comments, yeah. guys. Or we're not getting enough DMs. comments. I want yeah. I want to see some comments from you. Let us know how we're doing, please. Let us know what we can change. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. It's it's those things that are going to make us grow and bring you the best content available and give you the most honest open reviews of what we're doing so and just a, another little plug uh check out cigar show tim uh -huh, my dudes. Tim. this guy solid dude he's also partners with uh brown and wells we talked about last week on down to the nub yeah he's yeah, got yeah. some great reviews Follow him on Instagram. Follow him on YouTube. He you does some. He he does some really just yeah. cool, down to earth, honest, open reviews of cigars. And it's one of those things where if you're looking to try something new, yeah. maybe look at something you haven't done before. Give him a follow. Yeah. You know, he's been one of my inspirations for a while, and and, and part of the reason uh, why. I, I wanted to join this guy over here. Uh, so, but anyways, we'll catch you guys next week. See you next week. Hope you have an amazing week, and uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon.